Hi, my name is Dr. Ferris, and I have served as a teacher leader and administrator leader of teachers and an instructional coach. Coaching is a horizontal relationship between the teacher, the curriculum, the students, and the coach, with the underlying goals always being student achievement and improved teacher practice. In horizontal coaching, the teacher is expected to be a professional, a true active participant helping to identify targeted goals, provide feedback, and help to determine the structure of the coaching. As a result, the, to the coaching results are sustainable over time because they become an ingrained part of that teacher's practice. Coaching is a partnership. The goals for student learning are driven by the teacher and the coach facilitates the thinking process. Coaching is advocacy. Coaches advocate for best practices in student learning and for the needs of the teachers they work with. Coaching is supportive. The coach and teacher work together towards their goals for student learning and celebrate successes along the way. Coaching is 60% listening for understanding and 40% questioning and sharing. Just as in any other form of coaching, we always see the greatest gains when we focus on the talents of those we serve over the talents that we bring. So for me, coaching is humbly working with a teacher, uh, really listening deeply for their stories, their interests as educators, and learning along with them in a very complex profession uh, to improve the educational outcomes and lives of the students that we all serve. I guess stated differently, I might um, say coaching is really honoring the learner in all of us through a facilitated process that moves a person uh, towards desired goals uh, in a fulfilling manner. I think coaching is about building relationships with teachers first and sitting together and thinking about what kind of readers and writers we have and what kind of students we have and what they need and being able to assess them and um, finding creative ways to help them meet their goals in a meaningful way. Coaching is about learning and growing together. The coach and the teacher or a group of teachers collaborating as a team with student learning in mind over a sustained period of time. It is also about building relationships and moving forward. Coaching is student-centered for all teachers, collaborative, trustful, data-driven, and a positive experience for all. Coaching is not evaluative. There is no judgment or critique of practice and coaches do not report specifics to the administration. Coaching is not directive. The coach is not the expert who makes decisions during the coaching cycle. Rather, options for instruction are considered and agreed upon collaboratively. Coaching is not about changing a teacher. Changes will take place. However, the focus is on student learning and the subsequent shifts in teacher practice and thinking are revealed through reflection and incorporation of new effective practices. Coaching is not sustainable without empathy. The only way to ensure long-term success for those we serve is by demonstrating empathy throughout our journey together and celebrating successes along the way. Coaching isn't about fixing and telling teachers what and how to teach. Coaching is not evaluative observations for struggling teachers only. It's not teacher-centered or resource-centered, and it is not to show off how you would do things. Coaching is not about fixing teachers. Coaching is not about telling teachers what they're doing wrong um, or students. I have learned in my experiences that coaching is not a vertical process. It is not something that is done to teachers based on the requirements of the district office, the school administrator, or the coach. The teachers are not passive participants in this process. They are supposed to have a voice where coaching is not done to them, but with them. And over time, the results of the coaching when it's vertical is never sustainable. Coaching is not fixing someone. You don't go at coaching seeing others as being broken and that you're the one that's going to fix them. That's not coaching. 